your shit if you ain't ready to get hit. Well, allow me to drop some knowledge. Yazzie. What's up, Yazzie? Just get, getting everybody else in here. Don't you move. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Sweet. Nice and quick. <laughs> right. What's up? Hey. hey. Good. <laughs> What's going on, my BMF Army? It's your favorite Jedi, the BMF Goddess. I'm here tonight with my co-host, my returning co-host, Meg. Um, that's okay. I call you Meg, right, Megan? I don't care if I call me Meg. <laughs> <laughs> we got Jay. I'm filling in for the Black Dragon. Is DJ Mike Nice? Thanks for being here today. We gotta do a podcast just on the DJ and then music one day. Yeah. Thanks for being here, guys. Um, Y'all know the deal. We're going to go through real quick a review of anything of substance that happened last night. Yeah. You guys are welcome to please comment, question below, and we're going to interact with you. Let's talk about last night because a lot went down. Yeah. And a, <laughs> and, and a couple of things disappointed. But, yeah. um Overall, I did enjoy it, though, I have to say. How did you guys feel? Uh, to be honest with you, that was like the first pay-per-view that I've caught in like so long because I've been so far away from the product. But, I love but it was dope. It was dope. But I got to definitely say one thing. The ladies, the, the ladies division is crazy. Yep. Like the oh, yeah. I agree. Put on I better, better I agree. in ring work. Get a lot of the fellas. It's it's actually right now, I believe, in pro wrestling mainstream period, the strongest divi women's division. AEW got a lot of catching up to do. Mm -hmm. New Japan, you know. Um, yeah. But um, they've been having a lot of catching up to do. It's definitely <laughs> more now that Triple H is in charge because he's been doing his thing. And honestly, we feel the change since Vince has been gone mm -hmm. uh, from creating. Exactly. So guys, let's start with the men's rumble. Okay. Which um, I was so surprised that that started because when I watched the kickoff, I initially said, I said, okay, either Roman's going to start this off or was, the men's rumble. Yeah, I thought Roman was going to start it off. I did I not thought, think the men's Royal rumble was going to be first. Look, look, they made, they made, they made, they made history about that. Like, who would have thought over the years the where the men well before the women's rumble was debuted, the men's Royal rumble ninety percent of the time was always the main event. Yeah. It was always the last match. Well, the, but, the first time they did it, it was the, the women were the main event. That was the first time. But no, then other than that, that was it. That was it. Not, that was it. But, but the main thing is like you will never expect oh. a Royal rumble pay per view card. To open up a Royal Rumble match, it didn't matter if it was men or women. Men to open it up, that shocked, yeah. that shocked me. I was like, okay, like, like the headline. But that can shoot you in the foot too, because in other matches they call them what, like concession stand breaks. Because now they got to follow that. Because that's yeah. an hour and a half. That's an hour and a half of emotions. And if you've ever been to an event, it is like you have so much adrenaline. Then a match could cut you like who. <laughs> that that's how it could be. Yeah, it is. You're like, oh god. <laughs> yeah. So it was good. What did What did you think, Mike? Uh, uh, I definitely thought it was uh, Cody. Cody Rhodes was like that. Was like really. I thought that was still yeah, yeah. the injury to take it. Even though he came in the thirty spot, it was yeah. dope. And then, uh, how about the um, 
the Aussie champ. What's his name? The, the German dude. Amazing. Amazing. Amazing job. I was so impressed. With him. We, saw, we saw Rick Martel go for it. We saw Shawn Michaels go for it. Mysterio, didn't Mysterio do like 60 minutes and stuff was, like that? I was number there. Two. And I was, was number two in that. Yeah. I was there. Yeah, yeah. I was there. He was number two because Triple H was number one. Because mm -hmm. he came out with the Eddie Guerrero, and I, I was there. So I remember it vividly. Yeah. That was one to be uh, yeah, that was but good. It also shows the conditioning, too, because a lot of these guys would blow up. And then you then they'll, they'll work yeah. a whole But, like, yeah. they put on, they, they definitely put on a show. But you, they did their thing. But you've seen the body transformation with Gunther. From when he first signed to where uh, he is now. And his name, too. It wasn't yeah, he lost? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Then. Yeah, well, I mean, but he's such a powerful force. He just needs one day. Listen, we're not um, Brooklyn King 42. We're, we know Benoit won at no, one time. But I'm sorry. He was going to say three. Wow. Benoit won the It's kind of taboo. Yeah, but you're but right. If you can't say him, you'll get fired. Yeah, they, they, but they did mention it. But they did mention it when Rhea won. They said now four people. Now four, but in the beginning they said three. They're not going to mention that fourth so name. They're going to mention the other three. That's it. So sorry, Brooklyn King. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's the dream. Yeah. I think what I was surprised with the Cody situation was this. Even though Cody came in at number thirty, we still got like a mini match between Gunther, Gunther and Cody. And Cody, but the, yeah. the the problem what I didn't like. Here's the thing: the way how the rumble started was good. The males rumble, like I actually got to see that like dream Woo. matches at the dream matches, like to see Bobby go head to head with Gunther, Lesnar Woo. go head to head with Gunther. Yes. All of it was just amazing. Yeah. And then you had the smaller guys' dream matches, like you had Edge looking at uh freaking johnny gargano all of them in the ring at the same time like that that was like that. what the rumble was about to see matches that you will never thought of happen and then what i did had an issue for cody like, like I, I i'm glad he won he deserves mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. it's a story mm -hmm. but i think they should have never put him as number 30. like i feel like he could have came in a little bit sooner because oh, think about it everybody no but think about it this way <laughs> Everybody yeah. entered, everybody entered, and they're all thinking, where's Cody? Where's Cody? And then when number 30 came, he did He got a pop. Don't get me wrong. He got a pop. Yeah. But it wasn't like, yeah, we know he's coming because he's number 30. Mm -hmm. If he would have came like in 26, 27, that yeah. crowd would have been louder yeah. than he, yeah. he came. And it also would have been another record because um, the people who win the most World Rumbles are number one and number 27. Take that for a first second. You know they did not play by the numbers this year? No. Not at all. They didn't. Because they didn't. They didn't play it at all. Because you remember they always used to say the rattlesnake and the viper because Austin was three and Randy Orton was two. But, yeah, I don't I don't mind it. I think the biggest pop was when Brock Lesnar got eliminated. Yeah. That was like. Yeah. That was and a Edge, shock. It was by Bobby Lashley, the right person. And Edge, and Edge, Edge ended up getting the loudest crowd, too. Yeah. I want, uh, like, when mm -hmm. they came But that was just a continued story. Like, that's just because the, the, room, the right rumor is well, now, they're trying to do Edge versus Finn Balor in Hell in a Cell. At and Mania? Mania. But the thing is, if they do it that way, we got to see the demon. That has to, that the demon has to demon. come out. It has to come. But I understand where he's coming from. He's like, that's six hours. I get it. That's six hours that he has to do that. But him being where he is now, maybe he doesn't feel like he doesn't have to do it. But Because if you think about it, Edge has to win this one. So you can't be in Hell in a Cell with the Demon and then you lose. That's true. So. But it will, it will just give it a better, like, can Edge oh, yeah. do it? Like it gives him an underdog type of environment, but mm -hmm. the the whole the whole situation in the Rumble it mm -hmm. showed a lot of potential Mania match. Like I already see that they're they're looking like they're pushing to. Well, hold on, let's bring let's bring let's bring up that spotlight though that actually shocked me: Ricochet and Logan Paul collision. Mm. That was a good one. That, that was, was good. 
is actually, I'm going to, I don't like the Paul brothers. They could go to hell if I can. I don't either. When he came up, oh. When he did that, that, I can go like this. Respect that. I give him credit for that. No, I was, but. Chris, when he eliminated Seth Rollins, I think that's the match. That's why. And I was just going to bring it up. In Brooklyn, in Brooklyn, Kings, just said it. Yeah, Seth Rollins is the best match ever. That's why. And I was just going to bring it up. In Brooklyn, in Brooklyn, Kings, just said it. That's yeah, that's You know, it will it will be good because you know we all know that Paul is being trained by Shawn Michaels. So if Shawn Michaels is taking the time out his schedule to train him, he got to be something good. And he's well, not. He's bad. getting money. Not, I'm just paying for him to do. Logan Paul is paying yeah, yeah, I'm just not pro Logan Paul. Well, I'm not pro Logan Paul either. But I can hate you and give you your credit. I, 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 I cannot I like you. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Logan Paul is is that guy like mm -hmm. how how the Miz was in 2007. Mm -hmm. Can Miz really handle but these guys? Can Miz he's really... a new generation of trolling? And the internet yeah. wasn't like how it was. Yeah. But 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 Logan the thing is, Miz, Miz was here. But here's the there, there's a difference, but then the similarities. Yeah. They got known for as their own platform. Mm -hmm. Social media and reality show is almost the same thing. They're just vlogging yeah. it. Just reality show was a little bit different back opinion. then, how social media is now. Mm -hmm. But that's that's who Logan Paul is. He yeah. he's that guy. Like we can't stand him because he's annoying, just like how the myth was in the real world. But can he actually perform? And so far, I really liked him in the real world. I liked him because I liked his journey. Because he came in a kid from Cleveland who wasn't really around black people, and he ended up being closest to Cora. Because you remember when they did that challenge and the two of them, they, they were like an old married couple. They knew so much about each other. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Let me still talk. That would be a good <laughs> I wonder. I liked him. I liked him. Because I, I liked the progression and how he, how he became. You saw him, him becoming a man through the show. Yeah, so I liked, yeah. I liked him. Yeah, I did. And plus, but, remember, that's what we saw the miss. He was cutting promos on his show. But I, I do have a question, though, in your mm -hmm. prediction. You know, I just want to say congratulations to Cody. It was an I emotional ride. Very but much so. Can, can we just see, is he fighting for, for both the belts, or do you guys think that Roman's going to drop it in the Elimination Chamber, <laughs> one of the belts? He's splitting it. He's splitting it. Because this, is, this can be Cody's argument. I want to win the belt my father never got to hold. The WWE champion. The storyline. Yeah. It's the storyline. I mean, think about it. But, think about it. Think about it. The question is who he should face. If Roman drops that one, if he okay. drops the WWE title, who he should face? Because I don't think they're gonna put Roman and Cody at Mania. They don't want to bury those two in the in like they don't want they don't want them to lose at Mania. But if they do it, Cody yeah. has to. Cody has to win that match. I love Roman. I said he has to lose. <laughs> In a way, premium matches on Raw and SmackDown. That's that's my 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 main issue with wrestling mm -hmm. today. You're showing main event stuff, but you're not building the storyline. Why am I want to yeah. watch the same match again? It's like we need jobbers. We need that. Other, we need guys to put these monster heels over and build them storylines. You're right. Yeah. Hey, ever since right. Triple, ever since Triple been back, he's been changing that. Yeah, mm -hmm. he could, so you could tell by this Royal Rumble, his Same. fingerprints were all over it. Like, you could just tell his fingerprint. You could tell how long the people lasted who were what people would like to say Triple H guys. Tri you Triple H guys, yeah. You, you could tell who was in there. You you could tell, because trust me, if Vince was doing this, mm -hmm. Brock probably would have won this whole damn thing. <laughs> not just, no. not Brock. I think he would have, he would have he would have given gonna it, be, he would have gave it to one of the big guys. He, you know that. Yeah, yeah, because he, he's he's oh, still yes, in their mindset of the bigger dude. You know, you know what I noticed, noticed about this rebel? There was mm -hmm. no has been legend that returned for that one. And night. I love that. <laughs> and yeah, Thank I you. love that. That goes <laughs> to show you y'all got talent. Call it I'm sorry. Talent. But I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I didn't like the Booker T surprise, though. That shit pissed me off a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, why he had to come back? Like, I that could have been a spot for somebody better. Because his kicks and all that shit was pissing me off more. Uh, all right. I might let you just say that. <laughs>
Oh, all Caribbean those wrestling. Those One of my bosses is in here. Hey, please, y'all go follow them. All <laughs> Caribbean wrestling. We're in line with OPW. Uh, yeah. Please, to their YouTube channel, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, thank you. you guys. <laughs> um, Madam, <laughs> Madame Fluffy, Madam. Uh -huh. We need says more we, storylines. So we do. We 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 do but I think you want to do something with Cody Rhodes. Book it if if you got Hunter in there, do the Cody mm -hmm. Rhodes. Go back, revisit the storyline between Dusty and Superstar Billy Graham. When Graham had the belt and Dusty was chasing for the belt. They're both my what's it called? I don't, my, I don't think so. I don't think so because that Cody has said oh did you guys watch his press conference? What I he saw said? That. that I even put on my IG story. I said that is how two men can handle a conflict. That's how. Sometimes what it is is one person is not being heard, and the key to get away from it was this. He said, "I felt like when he looked at me, he saw my dad." And if you look at how Cody wrestles, he does wrestle like Triple H. He does. Yeah. He does a lot. I mean, they tried to do it with Seth, but Seth with that parkour stuff and like the fly. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And you could tell, Cody, you could Cody, tell he was a Triple H fan. The, the <laughs> thing about Cody is that he's a very like he he could be a technical wrestler, but he chooses not to. He wants to. Yeah. He's more he's of a storyteller kid. in the ring. Yeah. Like he exactly. he can sell. So he, he can sell mm -hmm. when he's hurt. He can sell yeah. that there's something wrong with the match. Mm -hmm. He can sell that, oh, my God, like, I got to do, like, he knows okay. how to put emotions in these matches. The, the problem was, it's like what he said, and I like what Michael Cole said when he pointed at the WrestleMania sign. Mm -hmm. He went from dashing to stardust now to a main eventer. Like, he shows that that emotion that mm -hmm. he, he could have been the top guy, but they never gave him a chance. But now Did look at him. Did you see this tribute to everybody else? Did you see mm -hmm. Did you see the cleaner, the oh, too no, sweet. No, no, hold on, hold on, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, then, come on now. The Chad Dream. He did, and that goes to show you, it wasn't them while he left. It was somebody else. It was somebody else. It was Tony Khan. It was Tony Khan. It was Tony Khan. He, he loves his brotherhood. Tony? But let's, let, let's yeah. this one. From his brotherhood, he is now one of the first Bullet Club a member to win the rumble now and i know aj finn they're all probably oh, in tears finally for him to do that that mm -hmm. was like he's a club he, he's a bullet club uh, member he's, he's gonna gave him the call. <laughs> Tom, 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 call yeah you guys agree with sal he says cody's biggest problem going forward is he makes a better villain than a baby face. What do you think? Um, if you would have told me that 10 years ago, I agree. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the thing I is... I don't feel the same, but me and Sal often disagree. No. <laughs> I think he's a great face. No. no. If, if you would have said that 10 years ago, I would have agreed with you. He was a better <laughs> villain at the time. But you got to remember, his momentum, how he shifted from impact to New Japan, Ring of Honor, to AEW, coming back to WWE, he learned. Like, he said it in all his press conference. He said it in all his interviews. He learned how to to get the crowd hating, but also get them to love him. Mm -hmm. He was learning all that crap because he started doing it on his own. Mm -hmm. You know, when he started in WWE, he had Dusty. He had Gold Dust, Telling him what he needed to hear, yeah. but it just wasn't, pro it wasn't like, getting mm -hmm. to him because he was learning from everyone back to back when yeah. he went to the independent scene he learned everything on his own and he, just knows. he knows how to how to get the crowd behind him he knows how to get them against him when he's a heel now i think he's the greatest right now in my opinion is one of the greatest baby face we got right now yeah. that's my opinion right now Jay, I agree. yeah <laughs> for males <laughs> For male, male superstar, for he's the top okay. baby face right now, and we're and they're doing great. They're doing great with him. And I hope they never show that footage again of his fucking injury and this guy fucking putting. 
stick it to him because I cannot watch it. But it's just to show you. It's just to show you that he... But think about it. They do that, they do that with Cena a lot. They show all the damn injuries he's been getting and they show how he came up. But it's just... But it was Cena. Like, it was Cena. This is... I'm not gonna lie. You can't tell me Daniel Bryan was watching this like, damn, I should get chopped like that. You can't tell me Daniel Bryan was like, damn. Why couldn't I be in this <laughs> No, yo, you can tell you can tell a lot of AEW guys that went from WWE to AEW are starting to like just this regretting think re regretting leaving. Because now that they see that Triple H took over, they're already like Of course. Uh I don't know if I should go back now. Like <laughs> I, 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 I don't wanna spill I don't wanna spill no tea, but I, I, I know a couple. That's why. <laughs> I already know. I already know three. Like the way Wait. how they look in the AEW Dynamite, three of them. I can see it in their face. They're like, I kind of want to go back to WWE now. Like you could tell some of them already. This is making. I know obvious, but I know let's some out the word obvious. <laughs> Keith Lee. Keith Lee wants to come back. Keith Lee is definitely yeah, wants to come back. Yeah, want to come back. Uh, Swerve don't though. Mike, you was about to say something. No, I was about to say, if the WWF has been notorious for always selling the injury angle. I mean, mm -hmm. that was, yeah. we, we, we take it back to Steamboat and Savage. All you kept seeing was Ricky's neck being hit with the bell by mm -hmm. Savage. Or uh, Steamboat, Steamboat took the worst ass whippings from the DDTs, from Jake, or take yeah. it from uh, Morocco. Steamboat. Oh. Steamboat was the original Super Cena. Yeah. He was Super Steamboat. He <laughs> could never die. Drag, he had the best arm drag. That, that legend didn't want to die. He was on the concrete. It was like, but he would, you know, yeah. would have been. He would have made Undertaker proud if he was in a very alive match because he'll probably take his hand out too, saying, "Nah, I'm still in it. Like I'm still in it." <laughs> what what so crazy is his son tried to do it, and his son ended up getting the same yeah. injury he but, did. The same, but it also goes the same with Stone Cold Steve Austin. How many times they replay Owen Hart doing that power driver on him, and he came back in Survivor Series? And fucking that, that, that's, a, that's, that's one clip I can't watch. Yeah, I can't it's, watch it either. Like, I suffer from when that gets released. So that, 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 this is the worst. I have to turn my head because it always rings when he says the lights were on, but nobody was home. Mm -hmm. And you Tell, like he had them Krispy Kreme out. And, like and, and I didn't. And I didn't even know that Stone Cold was knocked out for five minutes when Taker lifted his head up when he did the kick. And <laughs> he he talks about that in all his interviews now. He goes like, "Yo, Earl Hebner tells me we're at the Garden, boy. Like you know, because he's trying to wake up. Like now, Stone Cold know, was another. You know that's how I do. But he a clutch. <laughs> <laughs> He is He's the a definition you that know, we don't we know. love for him, but he is a clutch. I love nah. my clutch, though. That's my idol. I love my clutch, though. He's a clutch, but I love him. <laughs> yes. So, you know, smiley, uh, smiley, seven, four. Oh, hell yeah. I can't watch that clip. The Psycho <laughs> Sid. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, All right, let's move on. You ever seen that? Uh, when he took that, that game, paralyzed? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Say that again. Oh, what? What have you said? Oh yeah, that was too. Yeah. Oh, one more thing for the Royal Rumble: stop doing spots for Kofi Kingston. He cannot do it anymore. No, thank you. Yo, that was the biggest botch. Horrible botch. You know, he's getting older. Leave it. Yo, he got with it, Naomi or Tasty. Leave it. Don't do that. I was like this, hoping that I was gonna uh, see. No, the cameraman did their job. He didn't. I can't remember that. I hope you did it. Oh, man. Well, I guess oh, it's not. Leave it alone. But, um, yeah, they said, I wrote it down. Gunther lasted one hour and 11 minutes. So he surpassed Ray. everybody. Everybody, yeah. So, he's a great brother. When he come out, oh, he's going to get, oh, no, he's on SmackDown. If he what? comes out on SmackDown, he's going to get a standing ovation. Yeah. When he was putting the beats, when he was putting the beats to uh, Cody, I was just squirmish right no, in that pit. Yeah, my stomach hurt. Even though, bro, right, even, though I wouldn't, even though I wouldn't be mad if Gunther won the whole shit, because that would have caught all of us off guard. Yeah. Yeah. But 
Yeah, they would have caught us off guard, but I would have been, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't, but my stomach man, hurt like a bitch when I kept seeing Cody on the ropes. I'm like, God, no, no, no. But I wouldn't be mad, but I would have been mad too. Like, but. yeah, my mom came out in the room. She said, Are you okay? <laughs> 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 Yo, me and my boys, we were like this the whole time, like, ah, uh, ah, uh, shit, like, ah, uh, uh -huh. what the fuck, no, no, <laughs> like, like, we were like that. <laughs> um, all right, guys, Bray, Bray Wyatt versus LA Knights. Um, okay. first of all, I have to say, oh, look, I loved it. The 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 glow in the dark paint loved it. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I like LA Knight, but it it's a good way to start that momentum that Bray needs right now. He needed to show that he's that monster, that he's that <laughs> guy that's gonna be tough to fucking beat right now. That you not good. Compare, Ellen. It's not. But, but you know, but you know, know the background because he's he's a little boss too. Who he has a Hercules under his belt. La Knight. Oh, yeah. Excuse oh, me. Yeah, yeah. He was Impact and he was in NWA. Oh, Eli yeah. Drew. What up, Pink? <laughs> but let's just hope. Let's just hope that okay, Vince didn't promise Taker, but let's hope Triple H because that's his boy. Triple H loves his NXT guys, no matter what, from the 2012 till now. And oh, yeah. let's just so. hope he let's hope he keeps Undertaker's promise that Undertaker said in 2015. Protect Bray Wyatt. He loves him. He Shonda wants him too. there. So let's oh, hope my. Triple H is the one that keeps that promise. Yeah. Because uh, Bray is doing very fucking well. And that I, and not gonna lie, Smiley, I would love to see that match too. Why ever? I, like to I, I don't know. I don't think Dexter Loomis is that. I tell you, Bray Wyatt is a whole different level of scary. Like, I feel. Yeah, I feel. like Dexter Loomis, he'll cross federal lines, but, you know, Bray he Wyatt, he'll like kill you. Jake, Honestly, he was giving me under he gives me Undertaker vibes too. Uh, that's, Bray. that's what um, I'm saying. Bring Jake Rob you you want to take Wyatt to the next level? Team have Jake Jake Roberts manage him. Oh hell hell yeah. Yeah. So let's but, talk about what happened at the end of that match. Of course, Bray took the win mm -hmm. and then after the match he uh he still put the beats on, on LA Knight and then who came out and dropped oh, out. I'm sorry, Uncle Howie. <laughs> Yo, did he do the coffin drop that Darby Allen does? Because that's what yeah. I, when he did the spin, he did the arm. That's, that's what he did? Yeah. yeah. So he, he like he jumped, if you look at it, if you look at it slow mo, he jumped and then he ended up crossing, crossing. his arm when he, so he didn't go he didn't go like this. Like a flash. He went like this. He literally yeah. went like, like he's, when and he dropped his spin and literally went his arm like this. He missed. Yeah, I feel like, like three. Really three. Look at it perfectly. Oh, yeah. He actually did the. Yeah, I seen that. <laughs> I seen it Bo too. Y'all give Bo Dallas a break. He been doing real estate. He ain't been in the ring for a long time. <laughs> give Bo Dallas a break. We all know Bo Dallas is. No, lady. we all know. That. How you like? <laughs> no. How you feel about uh, Bray Wyatt, Mike? What happened? How you feel about Bray Wyatt? I, I like the dark character. Like I've seen, like how it transpired and stuff, but it, there's a, there's something about that character that could be even darker. That's why I said. Bring, I think he's so evolving. Bring, yeah. Yeah. He yeah. Take in, take in the health now. Bring Roberts in and Team Jake Roberts with him. You're gonna see the evilest heel ever. Oh, hell yeah. Oh yeah, but, but the thing is, you know, you normally when you do stuff like that, it's with somebody who's not a great talker. No, no but you yeah. know, but. I, no, no, no. Matter of fact, I agree to bring Jake Roberts back, but not as his manager, as his mm -hmm. whisper. Mm -hmm. like, because he used to whisper Taker's ear when Taker mm -hmm. came in and tell him, be this yeah, type yeah. of dark version of yourself. Mm -hmm. Be more sedicted like this. And that and Taker said it. Who saved my heel character was Jake Roberts. Oh, like, oh, he Jake Roberts has a different style. He, was, he, doesn't yell, he doesn't yell to get his point yeah. across. Mm -hmm. He's very quiet. That's scarier. <laughs> That's scarier. So yeah, I agree. 
Yeah. Wait, isn't he yeah. used to wear AEW though? Because he was supposed to be yeah. with us. Uh, what's that dude? <laughs> what's his name? The, 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 the raccoon cool man. Yeah, I see that once and I was like, what the hell? That's what made me say, yo, Undertaker. I just flashed back to Undertaker real quick. Yeah. Like when uh, M Mabel broke his. That's what I thought oh, it was at first. When, when broke when his I'm... That's what I thought it was at first. I was like, okay, come on now, really? <laughs> and then, especially, especially that raw, that passing on the church, Lord, have right. it was chilled. Because it wasn't yeah. dead when Undertaker. It was badass Undertaker. No, but he, and he said it. it. Well, Ray White said I would never say what he told me, which is good. No, you know what's cool? yeah. They're the only two in this industry mm -hmm. that can pull it off as a, as a dark gothic gimmick and mm -hmm. as a realistic gimmick, like who they really are. Because when Bray Wyatt came back, he showed a little bit of his real self. Now, he was going through depression. He lost Brody Lee. He lost all of them. He showed that real human side of him, but he could transfer back to that dark side just like I'll take her could do it too. Yeah. That and I think that's yeah. that's what made yeah. the moment more special. Oh, yeah. Because he went up to him. Because mm -hmm. they both kind of looked at each other, WrestleMania, <laughs> as the dark as oh, like, the yeah. dark version of themselves. But and then the yeah. Raw, yeah. they show their human yeah. side as the badass and Bray Wyatt's human side. Yeah. And it was more like, Hey, this is yours. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's the vibe he gave. Me. Like this is yours. That was really beautiful. But you, but Taker has always said when he's wrestled their father and he sees the kids, it's a special. He 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 cares yeah. for them a little bit more. Like for example, okay, he did a documentary and he was talking to the Usos. Now we know that that biker gang he was with. It was with he was close to Rikishi and Yokozuna. He was very close, very to, them. close to, to them. Very, very close to them. And so that also too, he said, but he is, he said he protect he likes Roman, but of course Rikishi's sons is a little bit different because he was closer. Yeah. So you could tell his daddy was backstage. I wonder if there's a picture with three of them together. <laughs> I would love to see that picture. Oh, no. Mr. I am Take your favorite quiet. We'll find it. It'll come up. It'll surface sometime soon. So, but that was cool. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, but so we shall about, see. But LA uh, about, can can we just talk about the disaster of the Raw Women's Champion? Because I did not like it at one bit. That was the only match that I literally I did not enjoy at all. It, it, it did make sense. Yeah, you know, Alexa Bliss versus one, but mm. I think the yeah. uh, you know I. That's another thing. I, the only thing about this show, too, was that I could call everything. I kind of like being, you know, surprised. I mm -hmm. knew everything about the match. It was too... That's not... Was too, like, that was 100% that was guaranteed too obvious that Bianca was going to retain that title. But if Uncle Howdy would have just showed up, like, in that same spot where he did the, the drop and just be like, hey, I'm still here, and then Alexa pins Bianca, that would have been... And, you know that we all would have been like, yes, like finally something interesting happening. But the match, I like. I feel like I was a little disappointed. In Bianca, like I feel like Bianca could have carried the match a little bit better since she's so fucking athletic. Yeah. But it it was lacking that that chemistry. Like there was just there just to no be there. Yeah. 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 What did you think, think uh, Mike? It was actually the first time I've seen her work. Oh, uh, Bianca Belair, she that, mm -hmm. that ponytail got to go. Yes, please. <laughs> I agree. No, I agree. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I said, mm -hmm. hate me. Mm -hmm. And she let me tell you, on her head. a lot of girls doing that same hairdo. I don't give a fuck. I said it. I said <laughs> it too. I was rock first of all. Let me tell you something. Getting <laughs> hit with a synthetic braid. That's strong. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. Of course, if you put the power behind it, it hurts like heck. But I do understand what you're saying because I have seen her with her hair curly down and yeah. with her hair uh, sent up. Listen, See, I this is what options. I have nice hair, bro. I got options. Yes, yes, I'm cutting yes, that fucking hair. Look, it's either I'm going to cut it, I'm going to burn it. Oh, I'm gonna chop it off on my blade. Like, but, but the hair out. No. They need to do so poker in a hair. I don't need to do that match. I've got to cut the fucking braid off. Hair, 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 h
That's a synthetic braid. What that going to do? She can braid it right back. So that's going to pop right But But all we're saying is the, the braid no, got to you go. Like, you can't like, braid I'm your braid. Get a new food. weave. Listen, the, the braid got to go. Like, it needs to leave. Like, get out of my life. Like, it's in my life. Yeah. And I want it out of my life. I think we're going to let it go for a while because it was it was her husband's idea. He said, do something different. Have a her break. Husband, and he she even said it himself. Her Rumble match. Of all, a why was God. He played. Angelo Dawkins lasted longer than him. Yeah, that was I'm sad. Sure. That was great. All I'm saying is, is, is that her hair got to go. Like, it needs. Like, like Russell Mania do. Because I've seen her wear her hair down curly. It's nice. It is. Because she's a beautiful girl. So she can rock anything. But I just want somebody to go like this. Swift, swift. And then that's it. Like I said, it makes me happy. If she does that train, she, she's got to she's gotta be, be gone for a while. Then come back. Alright guys, the women's rumble. Ooh. I'm gonna take a nap and you guys start until my favorite person comes up. Cause that's how I felt. Ah. <laughs> into Rhea Ripley, of course, number one, love her, but it wasn't until Eo Shirai came out that I actually got interested in the match. Well Eo Scott. Uh, I fuck with her, my girl Shayna, Becky of course, uh Oscar, Piper Niven. You heard that? Her name is Piper Niven. Who the fuck? I'm so glad they got rid of that dude. Bye. Thank you. I'm ready for that? Like Thank my mantra. Yo, but let's just be real. Oscar coming back with the new Japan gimmick. Oh, no. Is that? That's she young looks amazing. That was the biggest pop, especially when she took that back. They were like, oh, oh snap. Right. Got the crowd went bananas because everybody loves uh, we know we know Oscar. The thing is, Oscar's gonna no, kill you. I love Oscar in NXT. Loved her in NXT. Loved her in New Japan because in New Japan she was so fucking terrifying. But great, great, great performer. For her to put that NXT gimmick and her New Japan gimmick mix into that Rumble match, amazing, amazing. I love you. She, she had a great show. Everybody me, looked good. When she came, when she came out with the mask, I'm like, please get that face paint. Please let me see that face paint. And the moment she took it off, oh, we went bananas here in my house. Really we went crazy. I like the, the fact that everybody in the ring looked at each other like, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> like oh, shit. it's about to go down. What? Yeah, but um, Chelsea Green, five seconds. What the hell? Okay, yeah. Because of Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder has said a lot of shit, and I think they're punishing Chelsea Green for it. That's punish, why. Punish her for her husband. That's not fair. That's not fair. So you mean to tell me you let B you let B Fab go thirty five seconds, but you didn't let Chelsea much? Green go five? Maybe I would have did it too. They probably gave her a nice chunk of change for thirty five. You work for thirty five seconds, and you get a couple of you know hundred thousand whatever the fuck. I do it too. I have a question though. Uh, I have a question for you guys. Do you think they put her in that short because she, I hate saying this, but she does have a history. Whenever she comes back, she ends up breaking her wrist. So do you think that's why they just let her in for that short period of time? That would be wrong, wrong though, right? But that, that, that's what I'm saying. Because they, because because saying look, right. look, look, we, like you guys, mainly you guys. Work Steven wrestling said, business, well, especially, 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 <laughs> especially, you know, your hubby, he's a wrestler. I don't think they wouldn't bring her back to risk that, like, if she keeps getting hurt, they wouldn't even bring her back for that at all. Because then that means, like, yeah, that's a liability that she's gonna get hurt in the ring. I feel like that was a punishment because Zack Ryder has been throwing a little hints of WWE shitting on them. Like, saying that he never got booked properly, he was a jobber, and he just didn't like the fact that he lost the Intercontinental title after WrestleMania, which I don't blame him. It, 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 he was frustrating. it was frustrating what he had to go through. But right. but it's like you said, it's kind of fucked up because if that's the reason why they brought Chelsea Green back, because Chelsea Green does want to come back to WWE because she likes working there. Fine. But 
but but if you're gonna eliminate her because of what her husband said, yeah. then why the fuck you like you're bringing her back then? Like that that that's a bigger punishment just by rejecting them. Yeah, right. And Michelle McCool was in the audience for her daughter. That was great. I, that, that was cool. Amazing. I, 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 I didn't know. I love. I love well, Undertaker. Was, I love Little Mini. I love. Love little mini taker, little mini. That's her name, mini taker. <laughs> was taking her jacket off, and she had that look like, "Mommy, go walk that ass." And she yeah. was boom. She did that it was good amazing. Job. Even Tendo posted it. I'm so proud of my wife. <laughs> no, but she did a good job. That is a dream come true, like to perform in front of your daughter like that. Especially your daughter has a mom and a father, former champions, Hall of Famers. You and you're gonna perform like that, and you're doing amazing. That that was great. That was great. And she gave me she, a little bit, she gave me a little, little bit of Undertaker vibe because she went in all black uh, this time. Like she had uh, a, with the glasses on. Yeah. And she that killed that. Uh, she, was, she killed that move. Uh, what do you think? I'm not. I, I'm not. I, I'm pissed. <laughs> not that I want to get to that because honestly, that ruined my night. Yeah, I, I wanted to. My night. I ruined my night. This, not uh, yeah, in my opinion, she doesn't deserve to be back. Uh, yeah, so she's talked a lot of mess too. I'm trying to right? She's got a lot of this. She's Let's a bully. I was going to say this. I don't want to get into this. I don't want to get into it. But I'm going to do it anyway. No, no, I'm going to do it. Because it's me shitting on them. I'm going to do it. You guys know me. You guys know I'm a good sh shit on people. You know I'm good at that. But I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Mm -hmm. The reason why Nia is back because of the fucking bloodline. The Samoans have so much Never. power now in the Ooh. business. They want their fa some of them that they've been left wants them back. They even thinking about bringing this dude back. Uh, that was in Legacy for a couple of months. <laughs> that Samoan. Dude. They want to bring him back now. But hell no. Because, I'm sorry, mom. Like, no. <laughs> Like, Far, because you know what it is now that Roman is leaving they don't want to close the bloodline out they they want to keep it going but I think they don't need the bloodline no more because I feel like Solo is doing great on his Hell, own yes. so, That's somebody let, him, let him carry that momentum let Solo do, do it on his own he's yep. he's that match look even if it was 15 minutes the match he had with Kevin Owens on Friday that shit was a good storytelling. Yeah. I loved it. I was, solo, I you know, he's, so, so, solo, solo, solo. I'm telling you. I mean, but they were watching Solo when he was in um, was in MLW because because you because you know they people can say whatever they want to say. They know yeah. each other. Everybody know everybody. Okay, they contact you when they know your contract. Your contract then they're six months out. Yeah. So. But with no, no. his contract was over and he had no. the picture in the very shirt like two days later. No, but but uh but in the women's rumble, I gotta give respect for the NXT champion. Mm -hmm. Roxanne did a, a hell of a job. He I give respect mm -hmm. to Amy Hartwell. She hanged in her. very good. Um yeah. what's the other so, girl's name from so NXT? So yes, so she did it incredible, incredible. So yeah. right now I think think out of the two rumbles i still think for three years straight the women rumble has been outperforming the men's rumble lately so i'm i'm very impressed what the women division is doing with the rumble like, they're doing she, 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 she popped it back in place this year corner her knee popped out she put it back oh <laughs> i didn't hear what you said bmf i said um I felt like the men's rumble was way better. I was completely unhappy with the women's Royal Rumble was minus the fact that, you know, a couple of my the wrestlers that I actually like um mm -hmm. but I think it fell short, especially with the Nia, J Nia Jax mm -hmm. drop. Who did you want to come? Like did you want to see certain people? Did I see the women did the thing with the men took it this year. I'm so I'm sorry. Who did <laughs> well, well, no, don't get me wrong. I, I enjoy the men oh, because I, don't get me wrong. Me. I, I think if Vince McMahon was in charge for the men's I, rumble, he would have had think. a major a major orgasm because in that first ten entry, you had a lot of big 
athletic dudes in one ring, which I mm -hmm. rarely see that in each Rumble. So that yeah. was incredible. But the only thing, like, the reason why I think the women Rumble was a little bit more exciting, because what I liked about it is that we did get a couple surprises. Like, Michelle McCool, I wasn't expecting her to come in the ramp like that. Uh, I was like Roxanne. I was expecting for her to show up, but I wasn't expecting Indy Hartwell. I wasn't expecting nobody else to to surprise us. Like the men's rumble, I think the reason why I kind of got a little eh with it is because we didn't get that many returns or surprises, even from NXT either. Like we didn't mm -hmm. we didn't get that. Like oh, he came in. Like I was expecting. Oh my, I was surprising. expecting Braun Breaker to show up. <laughs> I, I was expecting him to be one of the surprises. But as far and as the was, is involved, the men took it because yeah. the women not they did not excite me whatsoever. I'm sorry. I as far as Jay White was gonna come, so? that was a tease too. Jay White, that was a tease too. Jay White was gonna come. Oh, uh, but you know what I love? Who that was, was it? Had it? Uh, I forgot uh, who had it in the in the women's rumble. Um, fuck. If I can try to remember, I think it was Indy Hartwell that had it. She had the Jay Briscoe uh, armband. One of them had it. A lot of them had it. That, 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 was, that was dope to see at least the women representing so, Jay Briscoe. Because, like, uh, you know, they taped their live shows, and uh, they caught Damian Priest. He had it, too, because you remember he was punished at Martinez mm -hmm. when he was, in, uh, he was in Ring of Honor. And um, I, I wanted to see Jay White because I know that history between Jay White and Punishment Martinez. That was when Jay White was first starting. And that was like yeah. his first. They went over to New Japan with that. And they have some bangers. That's what I was hoping for. Like, oh, if we can see them face off. But I guess I'm just a super wrestling fan. No. no, no. <laughs> but was Jay White, did he get the belt back? The IWGP belt? Uh, Mike, you got to accept the, the invite. Did, did, mean, Jay, I, did Jay White get it? Back the IWGP heavyweight champion. Send me another. Send me another one. I don't know, but I whatever happens, I'm I'm curious to see about that show next month. Because because I feel like he, he got it back, but he might lose it again, and maybe there he'll make a decision where he's gonna go. But I would love for him to come to WWE. Because I, I he's ready to come back. He he was in the same boat, kind of like uh, AJ was. Like he wanted to come back home. A lot of them, like Juice Robinson, he wanted to come back home. A lot of them, they said. It's not as strenuous as being in the States. But you, do some, it coming home. you should send you, me you another. Do. Sorry, yeah. Mike is trying to get again. Yeah. Okay. But, but we're just talking about something else before he comes back. We don't want to talk about the main event without him. A request. But let's just say this. Congratulations to Rhea Ripley. Okay. Well, well deserved. Super. And if I can't say one thing. I don't want to say one thing. If I was Charlotte, I would be scared. They need to make it that Charlotte I feel like this is going to happen. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Tomorrow night, they're doing matches to qualify for the Elimination Chamber. It's no question Oscar's winning. They need oh. to have it where it's a SmackDown and Charlotte is in the middle. And you got Rhea on your left and Oscar on your right. Because these are two women that want to right their wrong. You broke Oscar's streak in 34, 2018. You took Rhea's title in 2020, which we knew if it was not pandemic, Rhea would have retained. So yeah. they need... No, it wasn't because, a, because if you try to build... It, 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 it was also... Yeah. It was also yeah. it was, but here's the also, thing. If you really think, want to build no, a no, baby face... I, I think it had to do with the fact that Rhea uh, visa was expired. That's why. She had to drop the yeah. title and go back to Australia. Yeah, but... The, but the th but here's the thing though if you really want to establish Charlotte as a babyface you have to put their career and or life in danger if those two are her challengers she need to be scared because he's yeah, the but that play here's, back. The, here's the thing though they're not like the way how Oscar came back they're uh -huh. not going to make her ill they they they're going to keep, keep her babyface they were too big of a fanfare for her so yeah. It's, pro it's probably going to be I think it's going to be and, uh, Bianca and Rhea. It Maybe. probably is. Because Bianca is a baby fresh. She needs to hear. Even though I don't think Rhea's going to get booed. 
He's not. Is he? No, Rhea is so good. Like, Charlotte and honestly, Rhea, Rhea and Charlotte are going to make it up. That Mania match they had, they, they're going to make it more better, mm -hmm. of course, because they're going to have the fans this time. They're going to build it up properly. Yeah. But yeah. I, I, I feel like, I feel like, in my opinion, I think Bianca, I'm sorry. Yeah, she has the momentum behind her. But I think she needs to drop that title in the Elimination Chamber yes. and give it and give it and give it to someone for Oscar to go after. And like I don't I don't know who could be the potential to face Oscar with that mentality and that momentum she got from the Rumble last night. But it has to. I don't I I don't I don't want to see with Bianca. I don't we, think I don't think we, we don't know what brand Oscar's going to be on. Yeah, that's I true. mean she was a lot when she because, and also too like come on. They're doing the draft. They're going to do it again, but they're going to do it a week after WrestleMania. WrestleMania. So right now, these these lines can be blurred. So Rhea could jump the SmackDown. You don't know. I think Rhea. I I feel like the Judgment Day needs to go. They need. I think Rhea needs to go to SmackDown on her own because let's face it, SmackDown has too many fucking factions. You got Imperium, the Bloodline. Then you got the. The uh, Sheamus' group, like you know, that's already a the lot. Brown group or something like that. Brown yeah, group. like you got, you already got a lot. Like I think, yeah. I think Rhea, if she's gonna challenge Charlotte, she needs to do that on her own. Because and that's, that's what I like about beautiful. WrestleMania. WrestleMania, not not you don't necessarily need to go to that brand. You can yeah. still be a Raw star, but challenge the person from SmackDown. So yeah. if Rhea does that. If she could be smart about it and let Charlotte come one raw and then let Rhea go to a SmackDown one day and just fucking start feuding, then that that would be a better storytelling uh, tomorrow, than just one stay. Most definitely. Yeah. Tomorrow, uh, the, the fallout wait. is going to be very interesting. Very, very I can't interesting. wait. Well, I can't already know. Like, if you, if you can see it, if you can, like, hmm? you, can see, you can see it in the Rumble. Okay. Like the rumble, the men's rumble yeah. and the women's rumble, you already can see potential mania matches already. Like I think yeah. this would be a great fucking match. You could tell we might see a triple threat match with Gunther, Drew, and Sheamus for the IC title. Like you could see that, Ooh. and I will love it. I will be some bad <laughs> That would be the and if it's red, and then, and then you. Can you can see, well, you, you, you're probably going to end up seeing the trilogy, but I hope they do a better match between Lashley and Lesnar. I hope they actually have a match at Mania. You need to have an actual match. It's going to be the, the tiebreaker. Over one, one, so. But I'm saying, but that, that's already right there. That That's already set. That's a Mania match right there, Lesnar and, and Lashley. Because they want it. Okay? Hmm? Do you think it needs to be like a steel cage or what they did with Riddle and Seth Rollins with the MMA nah, background? Don't give me that. Don't give me that. Because let's be real. Let's be real. Lesnar could fucking knock you out with those big ass hands if oh, they yeah. decide to do this shit. So <laughs> let's be real. Let's be real. So if they do that, I'm going to be honest. It will be fucking interesting because last year could fucking wrestle. Yeah. But then, but then you're, like I said, then you're giving me a UFC vibe. I don't want a UFC vibe in WrestleMania. I want a WrestleMania vibe. I want I want the Lashley that fucking dominated all 2020. And I want the Lesnar that came back when he actually had a match with CM Punk, which is still one of my favorite matches yeah. of, of, of all time. Yeah, Lesnar, that was a great if, match. If you give me that Lesnar and the Lashley of 2020 in that mania, that's going to be one of the greatest fucking matches at Mania. Like yeah. one of the greatest, and that's it. That's that's I'm I'm sold there. I'm gonna definitely not want to go use the bathroom. I'm gonna watch that mm -hmm. if they give me that match. Yeah, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, all right. Okay. We're gonna move on. Um, there was a little a short a short intermission after that, with like probably the worst singing people I ever heard in my life. I don't know who they are. I don't want to. Did anyone Golda's tweet? Did anyone saw Golda's tweet? Dustin's tweet? That's not country. <laughs> he said it. That's not country. <laughs> that was terrible. First of that, all, he couldn't even sing. He was off key. It was just he trash. Was, he was like, rapping. If you heard the first little eight bars, he rapped it. 
Anyway. I think they're going to stop having people perform it. Here's the thing. When I go to a wrestling show, I want to oh. see wrestling. You get what I'm saying? But they have to notice that whenever somebody come out to perform, the audience is disconnected. Yeah. They are. Yeah. They Stop. They honestly, they, they got to they they stop. It. But I'm kind of glad they do those intermission because let's just be real. This is one thing I did have a problem with the Royal Rumble. Just because my cardio is not that good right now since my heart condition happened. That was too long of a fucking ramp. Like, I feel like I could, I could run a sprint <laughs> and I'm going Like, that was too long of a ramp. And and I think that's why they had to do those intermission. Those commercials were too fucking long, by the way. Those 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 um. Uh, you know how you had to turn the corner and get to the ring? Yeah, no, it was a turn the corner situation. Yeah. Yo, it looked like the SummerSlam entrance from when Roman fought Cena. That's how it looked like. Like it better. Mm -hmm. It better look like a SummerSlam fucking event. Like, but yeah. it, like, yo, I'm oh, yeah, sorry. I'm when I saw Nikki Cross ran. I had a heart attack myself because I got tired for her. That that, that was too long of a rant. I don't want to see that no more. I don't go to wrestling and watch the music concert. Thank you. There should be no other type yeah, of wrestling. I, I, yeah, I don't want. Yeah, that's not no, what I paid for. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind if they did like what they did with Rhea Ripley and Triple H over the years at WrestleMania when they had their actual best perform for their entry. That mm -hmm. I could do. Yeah, that's cool. That was that's cool. When Rhea did it. For when she fought Asuka, that was dope. That shocked me. And it that was dope, dope because um, she get all the vests that she had. All of the members wore her vest. Yeah. She yeah. wanted to, to make it special, so she said all of them wore their her vest. No, but, that's like, but for sure she's such a sweetheart. Yeah, and no, and, and, and even who else did it? Randy did it. Taylor oh, yeah. did it. Like something Randy like that. Did it. The all oh, the dude that did Bray Wyatt's original song did it at that WrestleMania Thirty. Like, yeah, that, man, that was cool. Yeah, that I don't was mind. Cool. If you do performance yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. that's fine. But yeah, that, do the intermission <laughs> shit, that was stupid. I wouldn't. Oh, Limp Bizkit did it too with the Undertaker. Huh? Limp Bizkit did it too with the yeah, Undertaker. Yeah, Taker, Taker yeah, did it too. Yeah, 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 yeah. With Limp That was yeah. dope. That performance was high. Like that. I, like that was dope. Yeah, that, was was high. that was high. That was fire. That was fire. Yeah. That was just straight up fire. Hey guys, main man, former main. Versus Kevin Owens. With my tissue. All right. <laughs> okay. okay, listen. Let me just let me just say this real quick. It's been a long time. You know, the, 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 Let's just say this. Let's just say this. Things must come to an end. And it broke my heart because I love Sami Zayn with the bloodline. But, you know, he was acting suspect the whole time. So I was waiting for it. Can I? Can I? I, I usually I usually love to agree with you, BMF. I love agreeing with you. I always do agree with you. We but I had to agree with Megan on this one. That shit was getting annoying. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, agree. I, agree. <laughs> I always agree with BMF. Like, yo, I like it. No, I agree. I like it. This is the only time it breaks my heart to say this. I have to disagree with BMF on this one. Sa that Sammy shit was starting to annoy the fuck out of me. Like, really? Like, don't get me wrong. When he did at the Barclays, when he did at the Barclays that raw, I was the only time I enjoyed the segment. But then after that, like it, it took that mystique of how dangerous the bloodline was. He made it I it was cool. Like you made it more funny. But then it's like like now you made me not look at Roman serious again. Because that mm -hmm. that was for me. Was, was was like, yeah. I, I, hate saying it. I hate saying it, but Roman giving him grace on Monday made him look like a biatch. No, I did. I'm sorry. It made him look I like did. a biatch. It did. And and I and y'all know I'm a fan, not a stand. There's a difference. I <laughs> I, I do like the fact I think I think the whole thing was, let's be clear. Kevin Owens gonna give you a great match no matter what, and th these two have chemistry together. Look at Royal Rumble 2017. Look at Royal Rumble 2021. Don't get me wrong. The Royal, Rumble, the Royal Rumble 2020 was actually a better match than this one. It was. Yeah, it, it was a better it threw, match. It threw, um, it threw me off a little yeah, bit. I think everybody was, was too. Good. You know what it is? Everybody was too focused on Sammy. The whole crowd was yeah. too focused. Yeah. On Sammy. They it were was. more invested in the match. They were more invested in him. Yeah, they knew it. And they and and 
it didn't make it any better that you didn't have the Usos no solo come out. You just had him. But, but that was I, I know we heard, but we heard the commentator. And they were they were building it up like somebody was gonna walk out. Who is gonna save Sammy? Who's it? Who's gonna do that? Who's gonna save Owen? Don't get me wrong. A part of me was like this. Like when they kept saying that, I was already, like, I know all of us was thinking the same thing. Oh shit, the Rock, the Rock, the Rock, the Rock, the rock is coming because they kept saying it. Like who's gonna save Sammy? Oh, like, the Rock, or Randy Orton. It was one or the other. I I was thinking Randy or or the Rock. Cutting me off, guys. Sorry. Thanks for being here.